Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your pal Megasnoop bringing you another Toontastic video today. And in today's video, I'm just going to take a look at a recap of what I've basically been doing every few months for the past year. I don't know if you guys have noticed, this is kind of an ongoing thing that I've been doing over and over again. So every single time Toontown Rewritten releases something new or does something, I like to kind of check it off of the mental checklist I have for them and see what's next and see what's coming in the future. Also with the latest couple interviews that Joey did on a charity stream and another one he did on Smirky stream, it brings to light some new information of what the team is thinking and what they're doing. Not usually too much because once you interview Joey 800 times, you start to get the same answers over and over again. But there's a little bit of stuff, a little bit. So the last time I made one of these, golf was broken. Golf has been since fixed. So we're gonna take that, check it off the list. Golf is done, we're good. Except it's not really because it's still kind of broken. But for the most part in Toontown Written's mind, golf is good. It's, it's in there, it's good. Let's move on to the next thing. And looking down the current checklist of things that we have, uh, we still have Field Offices, Executive Office Tower, New Playground, COG HQ, and I think that's all off the top of my head, because we got parties, we got golf, we got, we got everything. We got like, basically Toontown is back in the state that it was, but when it shut down. It only took three years to get everything back and then add in a new Toon species, but we got it. We got racing, we got golfing, we got 137 Laugh Tunes. It's all there. It's back. So Toontown Online, as it was, is back now, in the form of Toontown Rewritten plus gators and deer, and a few bug fixes. And that's that's where we are, right now. Minus field offices, but we don't field, we don't talk about field offices. Just field offices were kind of pointless and annoying. So of this checklist, what is coming next? Well, in a recent interview with Joey, it has been determined and announced that coming up very soon, within the next month or so, is gonna be a huge update of bug fixes. Yeah, no, that's what they're working on right now. It's just more bug fixes. I'm trying to think what bugs there are, and right now, I mean, like, the game is all, it's, it's, it's pretty stable. It's all right. The only thing I think is really wrong is the, the golf, right? So, I mean, fix golf, obviously. Other than that, I don't know, there's not really any game-breaking bugs that need their attention right now. So that's the next big thing, is a bunch of bug fixes to fix stuff. He wasn't really clear about that, he just said bug fixes. I guess, I guess we'll see. Oh. And then after that is field offices. So first bug fixes, then field offices. And field offices, I guess, was confirmed now that they're gonna be taking over the HQs on the streets, so these things right here, instead of plaguing the streets by taking over buildings. So it's gonna be like that, they're gonna redesign it in a sense. The Cellbot field office is still gonna have like the normal layout where you go in and you do the maze thing with the water balloons and the giant running, what are they called? Moving shakers. Gosh, Aaron. Moving shakers. Wallbot field offices, I'm sure you've seen a preview for that like two years ago when they announced it. Man, that was two years ago. That was almost three years ago. And so those aren't gonna be coming out in the next month because they're working on bug fixes. And so we won't even see field offices until after the bug fixes patch comes out. So probably aiming more towards summer. There was an announcement that they're probably going back to replay effects. So instead of being able to work on all this stuff for the game, a lot of their attention is gonna be geared toward doing the con again. And so if you guys are interested in going to that, cool. I'm still 50-50 on whether or not I want to go. Not even if I can go, just if I want to go. So we'll see. We'll see what they have, what they're announcing, what they'd like to do. And that's probably at that point, the next time we're going to have a firm understanding of where they are with the game. Because that's when they're the most transparent to us. Because that's when they actually showcase what they're working on and what steps they're taking. If you're really asking me or you're asking the team, what's going on? Where's this? Where's that? You're probably not going to get a straightforward answer until then. So don't waste your time asking. And I'm sure sometime after that, once we get into fall or winter of this year, that's when they'll either be working on a new playground or announcing the new playground or even, fingers crossed, maybe releasing the new playground. But it's kind of a slow moving process right now. They're working on a lot of stuff. They got really busy lives. They can't spend all their time on the game. I know that. I'm not dumb. But if you continuously keep asking what's going on with the game, there's your answer. So, nice little check-in. Glad we had this talk. Good talk, good talk, good talk. Let me know what you guys think, where you think Toontown is heading, and uh, let me know how you guys are uh, enjoying the game as it is right now in its final entirety as it was in TTL. So, thank you guys for watching the video. A little short thing today. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. God bless and...